This first trailer is recommended to me from one of my viewers. It is called The Lady of Heaven. And apparently this is coming out this year in 2021. I don't believe it's out yet. I don't believe, at least not here in the States. I haven't heard of it. Um, it is in English, it says. I don't know anything about this movie, but it was recommended to me by one of my viewers, Man of Goodwill. So, Mr. or Mrs., I assume Mr., because it says man, uh, username Man of Goodwill, recommended this movie, asked uh, two or three times in different comment sections if I would do a trailer reaction to the Lady of Heaven trailer. Um, so, yes, here you go. Man of Goodwill, let's take a look at this trailer. So here is the trailer at the request of Man of Goodwill, The Lady of Heaven 2021. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. Okay. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. Syria. Remember. Even if you're afraid, be strong. Your loving mother, Fatima. Did your mother ever tell you the story of the Lady of Heaven? She was very special. Daughter be like? of the Prophet Muhammad. Is she like telling a story? My that's... time is near. Princess Bride style? Probably more serious. Fatima, you will face many trials. With my father no longer here to lead us. Evil is with those who will extinguish the it's light like a of truth. Movie, maybe? You're gonna let a woman tell us what to do. We will burn her out. Damn. God will judge all of you. Oh, is this like the frogs raining and all that? Has become a breeding ground of violence. Shadow will be cast across many generations to come. So this is going to take place in a bunch of different time periods, apparently. It said some people are so full of faith. They give strength to everyone around them. The greatest thing in this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up. Looks really good. No I like the look the of the cost. film. The CGI rocks look a little suspect, but everything else looks real good. Her legacy lives on. Lady of Heaven. I... I mean, it looked interesting. I don't... I'm assuming because it said, I don't think it said based on a true story, but it said based on, you know, I can't remember the exact verbiage, but it was the untold story or something. So I'm assuming it's based on at least some story, <laughs> some type of uh, history. I'm not super familiar with everything it was, was going on. I'm not super familiar with like biblical <laughs> stuff to begin with. I'm not as learned as some in that. I like those types of movies, though. Like Ben Hur, one of my favorite movies. Um, I saw they mentioned Muhammad, and it had a uh, this woman, the lady in heaven. I guess she's of some significance. I don't mean any offense to anyone if if I should know that, but uh, I mean it looked good. It had really well, once again. I'm not familiar with the story. I would be willing to watch it for sure. Um, I don't know when it's coming out. It doesn't say here it's weird that the comments are turned off on this video that's odd but anyway um it it clearly has some religious aspects to it which is fine as long as it's not you know i don't know if it's going to be a movie that's going to be pushing a religious agenda i have issues with that but as far as like uh just being a movie based on religious past religious history i'm okay with that i mean history's history 
Um, it looked like it had some pretty cool scenes. I mean, it looks like it's going to take place. I mean, it did say over generations, so I guess it's going to take place over multiple time periods. One of those time periods almost looked like it could be kind of an authoritarian like future. Maybe I was reading into it too much. Maybe not. But it definitely is going to take place nowadays as well as, I think it said, 1,400 years ago. And there's lots of, looks like some big battle scenes that looked pretty practical i didn't see a lot of cg and i like practical effects looks like they had a whole bunch of extras and it all looked really good it didn't look cheap it sounded good looked good so i'm interested i'll, I'll definitely keep my eye out and i'll check this one out I and mean, the trailer didn't give me much once again i'm not as familiar with some of that um the more biblical stuff that's going on in the world <laughs> unfortunately but i do love me some some uh Swords and Sandals biblical movies, so I'll definitely check this out. Uh, looks good. Looks looks interesting. I I, I want to. I'm I'm interested. That's for sure. So I'll definitely be checking this out whenever it comes out. I'll, I'll have to look into it though and see, because like I said, there's no type of release date or anything here. The only thing I saw on it that really was anything, and this isn't the end of the world. I mean, uh, there was like one shot of like some rocks that they were pushing down like a canyon or something. And it was such a quick shot, I couldn't tell, but it almost, those rocks looked a little suspect. Uh, maybe some some shoddy CGI. But beyond that, everything else looked here really good from a technical standpoint. Uh, performances, I mean, I, I can't really judge in the story. I, I don't know. But it definitely piqued my interest, and I will definitely look into checking this one out. Hopefully it's a, a good time. Or a good ride, or if nothing else, hopefully it's informative about a... Thanks for checking out this clip from the JarCast Movie Podcast. If you like this and want more, then check out the JarCast live stream every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central Time on the Jacob Anders Review YouTube channel, where you can also find movie reviews every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. You can also listen to the entire podcast on all major podcasting platforms such as Spotify, Google, and iTunes. So if you prefer audio, whichever one is your preferred, check it out there. Once again, I really appreciate it, and thanks for watching. And as always, stay sexy, YouTube. <laughs> We'll